sick, dirty, nasty, freaky, hoey little bitches. <laughs> you dirty, nasty little hoes. By the way, I'm so kidding. Don't be offended. I'm so sorry. And I'm very, very kidding. Don't be mad at me, okay? I love you. I love you. I love, I love all my precious babies, okay? I love you all. But this video has been number one topping for months. My freaking Junko plays Yaoi Komaida Hajime freaking Yaoi game. And a lot of you all brought to my attention that there is a second game by the person who made it, Yandere for Hope. Thank you so much for making this game. Check Definitely check them out. They got a Patreon and all that. So then if you want to support, so then they can make more games, freaking do that. I will definitely be helping because I love these games. You got to support your artists. You got to support your indie gamers. Got to support your artists. You got to support them all. You want them to keep doing the stuff you love, you gotta freaking help and support. But because this freaking game was so highly requested and because I'm a freaking, you guys know, I freaking made stickers of this shit. I am the freaking biggest yaoi ho in this world. Yaoi con, if you are alive next year, freaking pick up a hoe, come on! Excuse, I am not in the Junko cosplay. It's freaking sweaty balls. My freaking face already looks like a freaking tsunami hit it already. No matter how much powder I put on. <laughs> and I was too lazy. Sorry. I was already too lazy to put on this wig, but I was like, you got to at least, at least try. And funny story, I freaking, a lot of you guys know I moved to my grandma's. The only place a freaking civilization is like 15, 20 minutes away. So I had to drive 15, 20 minutes away to get, to go to freaking Target just to freaking get glue to freaking put on my false lashes. And they didn't even have any. The freaking wall was cleared and I was like, fuck all of it. So I was like, damn it, I'm gonna have to drive to freaking CVS, which is farther or something. And then I was like, bitch, there's a fucking Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And I freaking went in and I saw one more. I saw one more dark color drying glue and I picked that shit up. So here we are. My wig is crazy, but so is Junko, so it's fine, right? My program for when I record games is really weird. Like, I have an old Toshiba computer. Not like that old, because, you know, it has the freaking Windows 10. My computer just froze on me. Splendid! We will be back after these messages. Yo, what is up, everybody? I am Mami Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, motherfucker. Sorry, I'm just like, uh, everything is going wrong today. But we will be playing Danganronpa Yaoi game that y'all showed me. Let's get started. Free time event, theatrical release, a Hinata Hajime X Komaida Nagito game. For all my freaking Yaoi hoes out there, y'all already ready for this shit. Okay, let's, um, let's start the game. Shut up! Holy shit, I'm sorry, we have birds here. <laughs> Would that be an acceptable way to spend an afternoon, Hinata-kun? Aw, so fucking cute, man. That was the worst movie any of us have ever seen, and hopefully will ever see. And we were only allowed to see it once. Why the hell do you want to go back there? Hinata didn't bother to mention that he had other bad associations with the theater, possibly because he actually hoped Komaida had forgotten that he spent one and a half million yen on a sticker there earlier. A half million? I don't know geometry, people. I freaking love Danganronpa, for those who don't know, I'm Danganronpa trash, yo. If Komaida had forgotten about it, there was a chance Monokuma had forgotten about it. And maybe someday Hinata could forget about it too. He realized as he stood there that he probably still had that stupid sticker in his shirt pocket, which was not great as it was bright pink and his shirt was thin white. Wet t-shirt contest, go! There was no way he was going to reach up to check in the middle of the conversation. His mind was wandering about he not just did one. <laughs> so obviously it would be tacky to reuse that plot line and more importantly, boring. I'm certain that it's safe for that reason alone. Komaida flashed a smile that Hinata attempted to return, hoping it carried the implication that he'd been listening. <laughs> okay, let's go to the movies. And fuck! What? <laughs> ah, I'm ready for the yaoi! That is why I'm here. This is why all y'all are here. You're not fooling anyone! The Wizard of Monomi? Aww, they're so 
so cute. The huge ad for the Wizard of Nomani still hung overhead. There seriously better be something else playing now. Look at that fine, sexy hunk of beauty! It's a theater, Hinata-kun. I'm sure it has lots of movies that aren't currently being used for murder. Oh, and just in case Monokuma doesn't want to let us in, I can whisper to him that I'm planning to kill you in there. Oh, then he'll let you in! I'm sure he'll play along if there's murder involved. And that fucking sick ass bear. Where's my Monokuma? Oh. I'd rather you not tell him that. You're right. It's much more realistic if you tell him you're planning to kill me instead. Ah! Fucking <laughs> this fucker. Komaida dragged his thumbnail in a slow slicing motion to cross his own throat. <laughs> you're tricking me into seeing a movie with you. How sinister. And then once the movie starts playing and you've chosen the right moment, you can put your arm around my shoulders as if you're stretching, it'd be daring, and I'll pretend not to notice. Are you sure you're pretending to murder or are you pretending something else? Yeah. Hinata glanced over Komaida's shoulder, briefly fantasizing about making a run for the door before he had a chance to finish this terrible thought. And then, when we've become engrossed in the plot, you can hold me in place and quietly slit my throat with this. Why? Komaida, baby, no! Komaida whipped something at- Mmm, that wasn't the only thing he's gonna whip out- oh! I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Komaeda whipped something out of his pocket and presented it in a single halting motion that made Hinata jump. It's a multi-tool. He explained hopefully. So naturally it comes with a small knife. He slid his nail into the tiny crescent wedge carved into the steel and pried it out of the base tilting his palm and letting it glimmer in the sun for effect. Put that away. The answer is no. No, the answer is no. I was only joking, Hinata-kun. Of course you wouldn't slit my throat. We already know that's a messy process. God damn this dude. Komaida laughed to himself, apparently at the obviousness of it all. Though, as long as we're being messy, you could- Ooh! You could stab into my heart for a mercifully quick death. You would want that, wouldn't you, Komaida? Typically kind-hearted Hinata-kun. That's wrong! Komaida flinched away from the hand pointing at his nose and looked hurt. I happen to think you're very kind even if you sometimes come across a little- I don't know if this will work. Sure, let's go with that. No, that blade is way too short to kill you quickly with one stab to the heart. I knew you were kind. Can we please just go see if there's anything playing? Komaida folded the tool up safely and put it back in his pocket. I'm happy you're so eager. I'm getting kind of excited. For what? The doors to the screening room were unlocked. Beside it had no indication of what was playing or when. That probably didn't matter. It wasn't like Hinata actually expected this to work like a regular theater. Who would work at a theater? That's like empty on an island, and all there is are a bunch of kids that are being told to kill each other. He headed straight to the concession stand where, much like breakfast, an array of mysterious treats were laid out on the counter for the taking. Don't take those! I guess we can take all this stuff. Do you want the popcorn or the hot dog? Komaida had already wrapped both his hands around the girthy soda cup and pulled it close for a quick sip. Nothing beats a cold soda at the movies, and I should treat myself since I'm finally on a date. On a date! <gasps> yes, bitch! Hinata, who had begun impatiently extending his hand to point out the hot dog, snapped his arm back to his side. Huh, <laughs> date, huh? So what if they had been fooling around at the pool, and in his cottage, and that one time at the beach? Y'all are fucking and you know it! Whatever they did while Hinata was carefully watching Komaida for everyone's protection isn't dating. It was stress relief. That's what they all freaking say, Hinata ho! Sorry, I shouldn't have said something so selfish out loud. <laughs> Don't worry, Hinata-kun. He's so fucking cute! It's not as though you have to like someone to take them on a date, right? Well, it wasn't that Hinata didn't like him or did like him. That's, I'm actually really glad I get to have a date with you. Obviously you wouldn't think of this as a date, but but I'd like to ask your forgiveness if I think of it that way, so I can experience that kind of silly cliche once in my life. I would date you in a heartbeat, Komaida. Did you actually mean that? The theater didn't seem like a particularly dangerous place to be with me, but maybe that
that's not what was troubling you. Uh, you're right though. The risk of association with me obviously isn't worth something so trivial. Please forgive me. I love him. He not I didn't really understand, but the weight of Komida's smile and the awkward tension that now hung in the air snapped his resolve immediately. He slapped the other boy's shoulder playfully and forced out a laugh. <laughs> no, I get it. This is a date, right? Look. Hinata leaned into his space and took a long drag of Dr. Hopper from the cup in Hikomaida's hand. Oh, dear God! That was an indirect kiss! Ooh, freaking Monokuma, what do we do? Boop, 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 boop! That was our indirect kiss. Well, fuck. This date is off to a scandalous start. Stupid, I'm so stupid. Stupid. A different person might have been offended, but Komida just left, respectfully neglecting to bring up all the times they've directly kissed in the heat of some stress relief. Stress relief! Hmm. Let's start the date. He added inflection, careful to show he was playing around. Turning back to the snacks, he not to clear his throat, slightly changing the tone of his voice for some reason, as if playing a character. Popcorn or soda? We can share or whatever, just take one so I don't feel like I'm hogging it all. Me. I don't think we need to eat during the movie, it's distracting and it can even be dangerous. He was on a date with someone who had such bad opinions about movie food, he grabbed all the snacks off the counter. You don't have to eat them, but we should bring them inside in case we get hungry. Komida looked worried, but he and his huge soda followed Hinata into the screening room without another complaint. Hinata scanned the seat, suddenly faced with the overwhelming options of the completely empty theater. <laughs> I like sitting at the front for the true and full experience. I hate that! I'm in the back! Um, right here looks like the center. He opened the plush seat in the creek and plopped down in it, balancing the hot dog precariously on the armrest one chair over and wedging the popcorn back into the seat to his left. Komida stood next to him, hugging the enormous soda to his chest. He was making a face. What kind of face? What's wrong? He not a managed to around with a mouthful of popcorn. The floor is kind of sticky. Ew, that's so gross. It's a theater. The theaters I went to weren't that sticky. I guess this is all part of the experience. That's gross. I'm having fun. Are you? So now what are we supposed to do? Ooh, it's getting dark. You know what happens when it's dark? Fucking. I'm kidding. No. The light suddenly dimmed and the horrendous blip of static crackled out of the large speakers, making them both flinch. No other sound followed, but the projector flickered to life in front of them, displaying a message. At this time, please select the genre of film you wish to consume. Now that's what someone calls movies. The Cinema Experience of a Lifetime presents Third Island Theater Selection Collection V2.3 app. Available exclusively and automatically on your student handbook. Voting will be tallied as soon as all requests are processed. For guests who stay through to the end of the movie, there will be a special surprise. I don't know what the fuck that was. Hinata could feel his blood pressure spike at being prompted to actually do something instead of merely being subjected to it. Oh, so like everyone in the theater like picks a button or something? That's kind of cool. Nothing good has ever happened when they were promised a prize. That is very true for those who freaking play or have seen Danganronpa. You freaking know! Komida, however, was already reaching into his pocket. Oh god, are you getting that fucking sticker? There's seriously no way we're gonna use some app Monokuma made. I'm on a date. I should try to enjoy it. But I don't trust Monokuma! Um, <laughs> Hinata said. Komida pulled the handbook out. Um, Hinata again said again louder. What are you doing? Komida looked at him like he deserved to be wearing that sticker that was probably in his pocket. Using the app? Uh, aren't you afraid it's going to, like, show us a motive? He not to couldn't. As I explained to you earlier, this theater already came up in a trial once. It would be pretty bad form to use the same device twice, wouldn't it? I, uh, that seems right, but, well, whatever. I should vote too, huh? Of course. Don't leave it all up to me. Komida touched his handbook, and as promised, a new app had been installed on the home screen. He tapped at the screen, and the menu opened. I don't know. Let's go... Horror. 
let's, um, let's watch the horror movie. <laughs> the moment his finger touched the screen, the lights blackened out, and a defending crackle ripped up off the screens again. He heard Komaida jumped in his seat, heard the ice in his soda. It was probably just a glitch, some sort of crappy sound system, but it set the tone. Oh, they're on a day! Yay! There was no trailer, no credits, just a slow fade on a dark alley. The blackness of the screen was brighter than the blackness of the theater, illuminating enough that Hinata could glance to the right and see Komaida's hand clenching the armrest. Oh, he's scared! Komaida, baby, it's okay! The sound of police sirens fading in and out in the background. The puddles of the cement started to look grim as the camera panned closer to the focus of the shot. Ah, uh, well then. This movie was gonna be awesome. Is that... Is that Osami's wand? Is this another stupid Monokuma movie? <laughs> oh god, he not to bolt it out of his seat. Why didn't he we see this coming? Komaida didn't stand up in back, he seemed to be to have sunk further into his seat. I thought it was a possibility, but didn't imagine he'd go to this effort of actually making another film of himself. He sighed. I suppose you want to leave now, right? But we're on a date! Don't you? You hate Monokuma films more than anybody. Aren't you even a little curious about the prize? Oh, look how sad he looks. You can't leave, Hinata. No. The introduction over, the movie continued in the background. Shut up, birds! But neither of them were paying attention. Maybe it's not good, but if someone else gets the prize, it ends up being important. Wouldn't you want to know about it? You said yourself that the movie theater wouldn't be used again. He wants to stay! Kamaida took a thoughtful sip. Not for murder. Fucking Komaida. May okay, maybe he's just curious. Hinata was a little curious too, if he was being honest with himself. If this isn't about a movie or a way to get out of here, there's no way the prize is worth sticking around for. Hinata-kun, oh, he looks so sad. We're on a date. <laughs> Komaida reminded him softly, sounding almost guilty to him bringing up the joke again. I know that. Rolling his eyes theatrically, a gesture lost to the darkness. He settled back in his chair to see if he could catch up with this stupid film. Though it was even worse than he expected. The other characters appeared to be shoddily made puppets or stuffed animals or something. Their felt heads jiggling every time they spoke like they were being light and shaken by some unseen hand. It looked like Komaida was paying attention and he would have hated it if there was like a quiz or something later. Komaida shuddered beside him and Hinata couldn't entirely blame him. The visual effects were quite frankly the dumbest thing he'd ever seen in his life, but the sound effects were actually quite vivid and horrendous. A loud wet crunch followed by a pathetic whimper ending the scene. Oh my god! Oh yay! Ah! girl. Uh. And suddenly, Komaida's head was on his shoulder. Look at freaking Hinata. He's like, don't bum, don't bum. Freaking. <laughs> That's so fucking cute. Hinata played it cool, obviously, because Hinata's a bad bitch. You scared? Ooh. Aww. Um, Hinata was still playing it super cool and only he kind of elbowed Komaida in the face while trying to put an arm around his shoulder. Aww. As if he hadn't been angling for this turn of events since the beginning. I knew it, it was planned. Hinata-kun, is it possible you're going to protect me? Someone as worthless and undearing as me? It's a date, Hinata reminded him in that tone of voice one reserves for being on a joke date with a boy who you're definitely not dating but could draw his underwear from memory if you had to. Well, shiz. That was an odd thought, but Hinata's brain was firing off some signals and some wires were getting crossed. He touched Komaida lots of times, but an arm around him in a movie theater was making his heart beat quicking. Doki doki! I don't mind if you want to try and protect me. Komaida screeched, Hinata flinched more from Komaida's outburst than the movie. <laughs> oh, did he get scared? Komaida's shocked laugh was tinged with actual fear and then without warning. The two of them were plunged into absolute darkness. Ah, not this shit again. Hinata found himself tightening a protective grip on Komaida's shoulder. I thought we weren't going to be reusing any plot devices. Komaida winced tense and semi-delirious beside him. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Oh, fuck. Hinata half shoved him back against his chair. You did this? You seriously did this again? Sorry, Hinata-kun. 
Usually when this happens, there are many more people around, but since it's you, it feels worse than letting down a full house. Usually. It doesn't always happen. But of course, the manager always gives everyone in the theater free tickets when the power goes out. So the next time they visit, they can enjoy their film without me. He wondered if Komaida often went to the movies by himself, perhaps early in the morning when no one else would be there. He sighed. We should probably get out of here and make sure the power didn't die all over the island, or worse, all over every island. But it's most likely just here, Hinatakun. But seeing as I've already ruined the date, we may as well go check on everyone to ease your concerns. Aww, Komaida, no! He started edging along the rows of the seat, but bumped into Komaida's legs. Um, you coming too? Oh shit, the power must be in the lobby. Komaida made it slide silently to the door and began rattling the handle. Hmm, um, what seems to be the problem? It seems to be locked. Oh, well that's fucked. Of course it is! The small, metallic sound clicked in his ears. Komaida spoke up again. I have my multi-tool, as you may remember. But it's very dark, and sadly, even in ideal conditions, lockpicking is just one of many talents I do not possess. He could make out Komaida's slim figure hunched over the doorknob. Hey. He reached out to stop him, and Komaida let out a yelp, multi-tool clattering to the floor. Shit, sorry. You don't, you don't have to keep messing with it. Uh, if I had to guess, we're probably locked in here until the movie was supposed to be done. So he could make sure we watch the whole movie no matter how bad it sucked. Well, you're probably right. Um. So we simply have to wait in here? In darkness, damn his eyes! After I ruined the date, having made us come here and insisted we stay in the first place, placing us in a situation from which I failed now to help us escape. I could have stopped you if I wanted. I lured you here. For my own disgusting motives. DIRTY MOTIVES! Like, he wasn't perfectly aware of Komaida's motives. He wondered if it was even fair to play dumb at this point, because as always, Komaida would let him get away if it was what he really wanted. He could hear Komaida's breathing quick and getting faster. Hinatakun, I really ruined the entire day and wasted your valuable time. Oh, I love him. Don't be like that. Komaida was moving away as he spoke. Hey, Komaida. Isn't this actually good luck? I mean, that movie was horrible, and I'm the one who suggested it, so the power- so didn't the power outage actually save us? Komaida froze in place. But even a terrible movie would have saved you from having to talk with me for a prolonged periods of time. We spent lots of time just talking, haven't we? I don't mind talking with you. You always have something interesting to say. That's because we weren't always enjoying a nice normal date. Oh, You know, I'm sure a lot of dates don't go the way people plan them to go. It's- I bet it's pretty normal to have a weird date that results in some weird story to tell later, right? Komaida seemed to chew on the concept of a weird date being normal for a moment before deciding he wasn't buying it. This isn't even a particularly engaging story, Hinatakun. Komaida's stress was contagious. Try to calm him down. Smacking his palm against the wall beside his head. Ooh, I could have looked cooler if Hinata was just a little taller. He told himself that, but it was fine. Oh my god, we got to the part everyone wants to hear. I know what's really normal for two people on a date at a movie theater. Oh, freak is on. Not actually watching the movie. Now, just a few critical inches taller than Komaida. Oh yeah! They kissed! Yeah! Yeah! Hinata leaned down to kiss him silent. Komaida made a muffled sound with the back of his head pressed against the wall. Komaida tipped his head back, eye wide-eyed, innocent expression coming into focus, dragging his teeth along Hinata's lower lip as he pulled away. Well shit. Are you attempting to save this failure of a date, Hinatakun? Don't act like it wasn't your plan from the beginning. <laughs> oh, kind of an accusation, but given the mood, it came out gentle and almost fun. Hinata had spent enough time with Komaida to know that neither of them should be surprised by this turn of events. Hinatakun, today I'd hope to first earn your interest with this quaint dating scenario. By that measure, I failed. Aw, since when do you bother to, uh, n no, since when do you have to earn my interest? Fingers dug at the waistband, oh god, oh god, oh god. 
I simply wanted to see if I could fill this kind of role too. Aww. I don't not enjoy your company. He not briefly felt like he had left his body and could see himself in third person really fucking this up. Oh, but please don't think I'm ungrateful. Being enjoyable to see you in any aspect is more than I should hope for. I just thought for your sake it would be nice to be able to rely on me for other purposes, such as being a pleasant movie date. That's so fucking cute. Komaida, the movie being shitty and the blackout were not your fault. This time he added silently, and you're being too hard on yourself. Not like that's anything new. Having a good date makes two people, so uh, I guess I'm not that good at it either. He not the couldn't. No, you've been a perfectly normal date. He not the couldn't. You are you are the most enjoyable to be around in all aspects. Even areas someone might see as miserable, faults play on you as relatable and charming. Oh, he's so cute. Komaida was instantly breathless and horrified, and it made Hinata laugh harder to him to see him so distraught. Oh my heavens gracious. Komaida leaned into him, bending his knee enough to, oh god, dear lord, oh say can you see the sweet the sound? <laughs> Again. Y'all can read all that. Damn. Komaida started to form a thought. He could hear it. But he not to dove back down, sucking the breath out of his lungs. The kiss, oh my lord, um, yes. He not to, he not to rolled his hips once, cutting the thought short. He liked having him up against a wall, less forgiving than a bed. When he pushed, there was nothing to absorb the force, but the boy under him, well, shit. He not to started glowing. He not to started slowly guiding him to the floor. He grabbed on Komaida's belt buckle while Komaida lifted his hips even as the complaints started up again. Not that this is the area where people typically drop food, but it still sees a significant amount of foot tracking. That's gross. Unless you just enjoy seeing me on the filthy ground, Hinatakun. Well, shit. Are you fishing for compliments? Well, dang, this is getting hyphy. Clang, clang, clang. What is going on? Oh, Hinata flicked like he'd been struck and, and felt Komaida go still against him, arms rigidly locked around his neck. What is happening? It was hideously loud and coming from the locked door. Was that a knock? Holy crap, who is it? Ooh, I don't know. Don't go near the door. I, for some reason, I feel like we shouldn't open it. It could be Monokuma. Oh. He not to realize Komaida was trembling a little. Interesting reaction from someone constantly begging to be murdered as a stepping stone for hope. Half of hope. Um, okay. Sorry, I was just startled by the loud sound. He's so cute. Hinata-kun, did you hear that? Holy crap. No, over there, close to the stage, I heard something skittering. Skittering. That wasn't a pleasant word. Nothing good traverses by skittering. Hinata stepped between Komaida and the sound without thinking as if he was planning to fight something that skitters you. It could be some kind of island animal that snuck in here. It sounded like there was more than one. I am terrified. What the hell do you want, asshole? No response came from the door. Instead, he heard a soft yelp behind him and felt Komaida's hand pulled out of his grasp. <gasps> oh no! Arms wrapped around Komaida from behind as he dragged back down the incline and oh my god, no! Who is that? The darkness obscured any identifying features, but how could anyone have gotten in here anyway? What the hell are you doing? He shouted at the shadow. He couldn't definitely see that they were holding a knife. You know this was a terrible idea. I'm a witness right now and you are planning to kill me too? What's happening? <laughs> None of his remaining classmates would be brazzy enough to commit murder to a murder, right? Suddenly a knife raised pulled back to gain momentum, hovering over the red swirl on Komaida's t-shirt. Komaida! Oh no! He plugged the knife into Komaida's stomach, or so he not to thought. Huh? My camera's dying! Oh my god, um... The contraception that was holding Komaida released rubber knife dropping to the floor. Mechanical arms unwided to his body, then giving him a light push towards Hinata. Also, it was fake, giving him a thumbs up. Hinata caught Komaida as he stumbled forward, mouth hanging open in confusion. Boop, 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 you little bitch ass fucker! My camera's literally done! 
Boop, 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 boop. And Monokuma stood in the lobby, bathed in blinding light, small stuffed arms spreading, like he was proud of himself. How did you two enjoy the horror movie? A brilliant 4D work of bone-chilling terror. Um, I mean, I guess I don't have any right to be surprised at this point. Yeah, I know. You should have seen your faces. If you'd stayed put, they would have whipped your ankles. He not to shove past him, and it wasn't until they reached the door he realized he was holding Komaida's hand. Aww. The sunlight was even harder to adjust with their eyes. Wait, weren't, weren't we going to get a prize? Ugh. He not had begun in a hurry, he left without thinking about the stupid prize. We really can't go back and tell Monokuma we want a prize. You're right. I guess we can go back and see another movie sometime. Oh, so there's more than that. So that's it. I guess there are three other different parts. And that is it because I gotta go. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to keep playing and play the other two parts of this game, definitely leave it in the comments below. Before we go, I got some showstoppers to freaking announce my beautiful babes. First showstopper is Dila de la Fuente. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Hope you all enjoyed this game. I freaking love and live for yawishes. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to do the other two movie parts of this game, leave it in the comments and I will continue. If you have any other games you want me to play, let me know and I will continue. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment shit. If you don't like Yaoi or if you do, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to press that notification bell to get notifications every time I make a video. And make sure to subscribe. Hashtag join the AMI army. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my Weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time.